Hello everybody, welcome back to KDP A to Z. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make video footage such as this to use within your marketing campaigns. Now you can use this on Amazon within the sponsored brands, or you could use it on your social media campaigns such as TikTok and Facebook. Video adverts really do help sell your products. So I'm going to show you exactly how to make them. Now in the video I did a couple of weeks ago, I did explain to you how if you want to use sponsored brands, which is this form of advertising, not only do you have to have an author central page, but you also now have to use a customized image or a customized video within that advertising. So in order to create a video advert, I first of all need to see what size it's going to be. So here it's saying that the aspect ratio of the video is going to be 16 by 9. So for example, you could do 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, or you could do it slightly larger, but that has to be the proportion. So if it's 16 centimeters at the bottom, it's going to be nine centimeters tall. So that's your aspect ratio. The length has to be between six and 45 seconds. So there's no point in doing a five second video. And we have to have the file format as MP4. Don't worry if this is getting a little bit technical, it will become clearer in a moment. So these videos are easy to create on Canva and you can do this completely for free. So we're just going to go along to our homepage on Canva. And on here, you can just select video. Now this is nice and easy. It's showing you already here that the aspect is 1920 by 1080, which is the size that we want. So this is a blank video template. Now within here, you can look for different elements. So the one that I'm going to do today is going to be this book, dot to dot under the sea coloring book. So I'm just gonna search for a basic video template here. So within elements here, I'm just going to search for C backgrounds and you can see it's got videos here. So I'm just going to press C all. Now I have temporarily upgraded to the pro version, but you can filter it. If you scroll down here, I'm just going to look on the free ones. So these are all free seaside backgrounds. Now I'm looking for a cartoony type one. So I'm just going to refine my search a little bit. Now this is where it might well be worth upgrading to the free version of Canva and you can do that for 30 days for free and cancel at any time within that 30 day period because here it's saying magic recommendations and if we look on the see all this is really giving me some lovely backgrounds that I think I'd like to use within my video. But for the sake of this video I am just going to use the free version so I quite like this background. So we're just going to pop that into the corner here. We're just gonna spread that out. This is quite nice actually. Now we're gonna add some text over this. So there are different headings and styles that you can use. I'm going with the Michigar font here and I'm just going to put introducing the ultimate dot dot coloring book and I'm just gonna centralize that. Now I'm just gonna change the color on this one. And I'm gonna have it something clashing, so yellow. And I'm going to just animate this text. So you can have different kinds of animations depending on what you click on. Here we go, this one looks like it's swimming. There's a wipe one. So as you hover over these different animation, it gives you a good idea of what it'll look like. So actually I really quite like this breathe one because it looks as though it's shimmering a little bit and looks as though it's floating. So that looks good. I'm just gonna increase the size slightly and you make sure it's centralized. So Canva is really good at giving you these guidelines to show you when it's central. So there we go with those. You can see there's a cross there that's showing me that that's central. So let's just have a little look at this. So you can adjust the length of this animation as much as you want. So I only want this one to be a couple of seconds. Then you can add a new part to your animation and this will flow naturally into each other. So for this part, I'm going to upload a few pictures that I've made before. Now I've made these pictures using product mockups that I found on Creative Fabrica. If you haven't seen this video yet, this video shows you how to make product mockup pictures that you can use for advertising purposes. So I'm just going on to the upload section here. I'm just going to press on upload files and I'm gonna put some pictures in really nice images of this little girl holding my book so I'm just going to select that and I'm just going to animate this and I really like the breathe design there I'm going to make it a little bit bigger again centralize it and I'm going to change this background 
to be a bluey color. I think I'm going to put a bit of writing to the side here. So I'm going to put this more over this side and I'm going to put some writing over here. So I'm going to have 50 beautiful images to complete and color in. This is going to all be animated again. So I can have this coming like this. I can have it typewriter. Oh, I quite like this burst one. I'm just going to put that on there so you can see this is what it's going to look like. Okay, and I'm just going to change this color of this font again. I quite like the yellow. Oh, but it doesn't look quite good against that background. So I'm just going to color the background slightly differently. So let's have a look at this now. Let's play it from the beginning. You see how easy this is? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add another page and I'm going to put another image on here. So this one, I'm just going to crop this slightly so I can edit the photo and I'm going to crop it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to animate this one again, animate it. I think I'm going to stick with the breathe design. And again, I'm going to add some text over here. So I'm going to put something about because every page has a fun fact or a joke in it. So I'm going to put something about that. There we go. So I'm going to put packed with interesting facts and jokes about the sea. Again, I'm going to change the color on this so it matches. And I'm going to animate this text. Now I think I'm actually going to have that bubbly background that we have here. I think I'm going to put that on the back of this as well because this would work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to this section here, page two. I'm going to add this in. So I need to get this background behind that image. So what you do is you right click on here and you go to layer and you put send backwards. There we go. So that's now behind that. Just going to resize it. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on this background one. Now I'm thinking this text is now not standing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an effect on this text. So I'm going to have a bit of a background to that text. So you can adjust that background however you want. You can have it spread out more or less. You can change the color on this background. So I could have it this color, which matches better. And I can change the transparency of that background. So it doesn't have to be quite so blocked. There we go. Let's have a look at that now. So that's quite good. It makes the text stand out a bit better. I'm going to do the same with this one. So just to standardize this, I'm gonna make sure that the effects on both texts are both the same. So this one's got a roundness of 100, a spread of 100 and transparency of 67. So I'm gonna do the same with this effect. So roundness 100, spread of 100, transparency 67. So now I can see that this video is slightly too long. So I'm just gonna adjust that slightly. I'm thinking this, the speed that this comes up is a little bit slow. So I'm just going to adjust this animation on this text here. So if you're not sure how to adjust the animation, it's I've put this as a burst animate here. So it doesn't, it's not coming up at the top here, but that is the animation side of things. So it won't let you adjust the speed on this burst. So I'm just going to go back to the typewriter one. And then this one, you can adjust the speed. You can only do this in the pro version. You can adjust the speed. You know, I'm just going to change the animation to say shift. So I'm going to, and I'm going to do the same with this one. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to go ahead and add another page. So now I want to go ahead and add in a video element about a child writing. So I want to say something about improving hand-eye coordination. Again, I'm going to just select the free ones so that you can see what you can do. I'm going to go to video elements. 
So here's a good one. I'm just going to crop this. I'm going to add some text. Now I'm going to try and find a happy child video element. So I'm going to click on here, videos, typed in happy child. Again, I'm going to put it as free. So I've just added some extra little bits and pieces. So we've got some happy children. We've got hours of entertainment. And I'm just going to finalize it with get your copy today. So I just need to adjust the speeds on these videos. So you can do that by just selecting on the actual pages of the video down here at the bottom. And you can adjust the lengths. So I'm just going to watch the whole thing from the beginning. Okay, so that last page is about six seconds. So all in all, the video itself is 23 seconds. Let's start this from the beginning. Introducing the ultimate dot to dot coloring book. 50 beautiful images to complete and color in. Packed with interesting facts and jokes about the sea. Oh, that one probably needs to be a little bit longer. So I'm just going to adjust that. Okay. Let's just check the reading ability of it. Packed with interesting facts and jokes about the sea. Now, the reason I'm reading these out is because I want to make sure that someone else has the chance to read them. Okay. So I think in judgment of it, I'm just going to increase the size of that one very slightly. And this one. So now that's about 25 seconds long, which is within the limit of Amazon's specifications. So they wanted it between six and 45 seconds. Now, finally, what we can do is we can get some audio on this. So if I go into elements. So we can go for some music in here. I'm just going to, again, select free. So let's have a listen to these. So looking around, I've just found some nice guitar music, which I'll just play you. And you can just play around with the sounds as much as you want. Now, you won't be able to hear them terribly well because the audio is coming from my microphone rather than the computer itself. But this one here is waves noise. That doesn't sound very good on, on your screen, but it's actually pretty, pretty decent noise. So I'm just going to add this one to the audio here. And now when I play the video, this audio should be on the background. And it is. And it does sound good. So now all we have to do is to share this video. So you click on share and click on download here. And you can see here that it's saying MP4 video, which is exactly the file type that we wanted. And we're just going to press on download. So that's going to take a little bit of time to download. So for this, I would recommend upgrading your Canva because you can get loads better background. But this stuff here, I've done all for using the free version. It's then very simple to upload your video into this. So you just go on in your sponsored brands. So you just go on and add your video, upload. And because we did it with that specification of the 1920 by 1080 pixels, that video is going to work perfectly. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, do give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel where you will find loads of useful information about self-publishing your books. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.